I'm Kenzie and this is Culture Journey. Today I have some big news, except it's not big news. I quit my own language plan, yeah. And y'all might be asking, why Kenzie, you love your language plan? And it's like, I do. But I'm gonna tell you the story and the why. Hopefully you can learn from my story and be able to use it and apply it to your own language learning journey. And y'all, I'm just here to offer y'all some support and encouragement and have a wonderful time. So let's get into it. If y'all haven't seen my video about my language plan, y'all should go and watch that first. It'll be linked in the description below for you. And that way you can know what I'm talking about because when I say I quit something you don't even know existed, it's a little confusing. Yeah, I'm hoping most of y'all have already seen that, and if not, you can go watch it now and then come back. So that's where I was a while back. It's actually been a little over a year now that I had started that. And honestly, it served me so well. I have grown so much because of it. Like, honestly, I have. But eventually, I just got busy and stressed, and it was too much. And it was kind of just like a slow de decline. But yeah. So for a while, it's not that I wasn't doing it. But I, like, I stopped. I stopped like coloring the days and like keeping track as much. And yeah. And then from there, it was kind of more, I think maybe this is. It's not a quitting, it's a transition, okay? I didn't quit it altogether, I just transitioned it to a little bit different. So my notebooks were getting really full, and I've actually heard a lot of polyglots talk about journaling and their target languages. And I had already kind of been doing that in my like language binder and stuff, but I decided to pull out one of my old journals and just dedicate that to language journaling. And honestly, I'm absolutely loving that because for one, journaling just helps me emotionally. And so, and then adding a language into it is like language practice and all that, and that's great. And so for me, that's working really well right now. And sometimes I do still occasionally do like my exercises and like the stuff from my language learning plan and stuff but I don't have like the strict schedule and honestly I think like there's times and people that need that schedule and there's times when we don't we just need to like try and like if you know you're gonna be disciplined and do it like when you can and like those really long hard days you don't worry about it that's fine but those people that know that they're not gonna be self-disciplined and if they say that they're gonna do it they're not those are the people that I think you need to make that chart out and you need to stick to it and color it in and see your progress, okay? So just kind of know and it's okay to change from one, one thing to another. Y'all, so I have something very important to say that I have learned and that I've heard other people say and that is language learning should be fun. Language learning should never, never, ever be a chore. You should look forward to learning a language not dread it okay and ultimately i wasn't looking forward to doing my language plan like i used to it just wasn't as much fun anymore and that's why i've changed and like adapted it more and you know what it's okay to change like there is no perfect plan no perfect method you ask polyglots and they're always like well they learned one language like this another like this but even in that language, they changed and they adapted. And at first I thought that was just because they were like getting smarter and figuring out the best way to learn a language. But that's not entirely it. Like them as a person is changing. You get tired of doing the same thing over and over. You get ready for a fresh start. It's good to change things up. I actually watched a video of Luca Lamparelio. I'll link him in the description. He's a really great YouTuber. Probably got, I love his tips, but he talked about how like every three to six months you should evaluate the method you're using and see if it's still helping you, if the content is too easy 
or too hard and like kind of you can try new things but like try to like kind of stick to that certain things for a little while give them a chance try to work at that and then kind of move on let it change don't do the same thing forever and I liked that and also just have fun with it okay y'all have fun have fun I'm gonna say it over and over just so y'all get it okay have fun Language learning is fun. Repeat after me. Language learning is fun. There you go. Y'all are going to do amazing. So, yeah. Honestly, I even like my language learning plan, I have changed and adapted. And the way I'm using it to study Arabic right now is completely different than the way I used to study other languages. And that's because I've learned new things and I've just... I'm trying new things. I'm enjoying it. So after y'all have like watched my language plan and you've watched this video, I am not telling you to go do exactly my language plan or to not do it at all. What I'm telling you is to find out what you enjoy and what works for you and just go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. You're going to do amazing. I believe in you. If you do want any like personal advice, for me please just reach out to me I am here to help you and soon I'm gonna be making a video about my favorite youtubers that can probably help you so yeah if you just need any resources or anything let me know I'm like I'm all over that right now if you're getting discouraged in your language learning journey like keep watching these videos because they're gonna inspire you that's what I do and that's what I'm gonna do for you so yes if you feel inspired and encouraged by this video, please give it a like. If you know anyone that needs a little nudge to keep going, send them this video. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in my content because I want to grow my language learning and cultural experiences with you. And so I will see you on my next video. Bye. Bye.